This week we conducted a post-blast analysis range where we identified the type of munition fired by the enemy and their point of origin. After the simulated indirect fire, my job was to conduct crater analysis, which is using calculations in order to identify the type of munitions fire and where it came from. Being an EOD tech is fun and challenging, and I, I like that I get to go to work every day and learn something new. A typical day in EOD is ever-changing, but some of the things you could expect are live fire training and EOD emergency response. EOD is a lap move only MOS, and uh, we're always looking for hardworking Marines who are humble and willing to learn. Not only is EOD physically demanding because of the large amounts of weight you have to carry, but it's also mentally demanding. Some of the requirements to join EOD are you have to have a first class PFT and CFT score, you cannot have claustrophobic tendencies, you cannot be colorblind, and you have to have a minimum of a 110 GT score. For any Marine interested in joining EOD, see your career planner, your local EOD shop, or read the Marine Corps Order 3571.